and the next opportunity is from some other company so coming to the work culture that compensation part here so compensation the average compensation part that you will be getting for this role so in today's video we will be discussing about two very interesting opportunity one is for 23 batches and uh, if you have completed your graduation or, or you are doing bca and mca so this is very great opportunity for those folks this is for associate role and the company name is DESO. So we will look more about it like what you have to prepare and what all the things you have to prepare. And uh, coming to the compensation part here. So compensation, the average compensation part that you will be getting for this role that is the DESO associate role for BCA, MCA and uh, BSC, MSc students. So it will be around 10 LPA. So that is again very good also. So coming to the work culture of the DESO. So the work culture is very good in DESO, the learning curve is very good and the company is also very good. If you search about the DESO, you will get to know more about it. And the next opportunity is from some other company that is Global Payments that is for 22 or previous batches. So we'll look more about the Global Payments opportunity also. So as here you can see on the screen that this opportunity for associate front office tech off campus 23. Okay. And we are looking for the resourceful candidate to join the front office technology group in Hyderabad. So this opportunity belongs to Hyderabad. This team is specialized in building high quality application, web based products with a focus on usability, speed, security and productivity. So at the end, and then you can say this associate tech role, this is completely associate tech role and you will be working on web based products. Okay. And uh, these are the some primary things which we have when, whenever we are building any system. So we need scalability, we, we want it to be scalable and uh, all those things. Okay. So uh, what you will do to day to day life. Okay. So all the things, all these things uh, are mentioned here, like what you will do in your day to day life. You can go through if you want. Okay. Now coming to the uh, point what they are looking for. So ideal candidates should be final year student from three year undergraduate program for from any discipline with no current backlog. So you should not be having any current backlog now when you are applying. Okay. And the next point is the ideal candidate should be the final year. So you should be in the final year from three year undergraduate program. So if you are from BE, BTEC, you can try applying. But they are looking for only students who are completing three year undergraduate program. The reason being because the salary compensation is already uh, because the salary compensation is less than the software engineer role and majorly who have done the BE, take they go for the software engineer role. So that's why they are uh, restricting it to be for BCMCA, BSC, MSc students and uh, they can apply for this position. Link will be there in the description and coming to what opportunity like what programming languages they need to so see C++, Python, Java. Okay. So if you are aware about any one of them, then it's really great and uh, some cell scripting language you need to know and this some productivity tools and all those things. And at the end, if you are not knowing, then uh, again, it's the point like you can easily learn. So there is uh, no issue in that. And um, so you can uh, check out more about this opportunity. Link will be in the description. Now coming to the another opportunity that is the global payment that is for 22 or previous batches. So you can go ahead and apply and you will find a lot of uh, things here. So no experience is required. So if you haven't got any job, so no experience is required. Then what are the things that you have to, uh, that you should aware about then preferred qualification is BS in computer science, IT and all those things. Take care. And professional experience in coding, design, developing and analyzing data. So you can go and check out about everything, whatever uh, details mentioned here and you can apply. Now uh, the next question that how to prepare for it, where we can prepare for this OS, OOPS and all those concepts. Okay. So I have all the playlist on my channel. You can check out this object oriented programming interview preparation playlist. So there you will find all the object oriented programming concepts which are asked in the interview preparation. You might have gone through uh, some questions where they are asking V table that is virtual table, virtual pointers, right? some in inheritance questions, some constructor questions. So all those questions are covered here. Just go and check out and let me know for any doubt. There might be some ambiguity and you can ping me for that. But overall these courses, this course is completely designed for your interview preparation. Beside this, uh, you will also find here the op operating system playlist. Okay. So this is the operating system playlist where you will uh, find all the questions that are asked in your interview preparations or interview topics. Okay. Scheduling algorithm, process versus thread, most asked question that is the most asked question. You should know the basics of the process versus thread. 
synchronization and then some producer consumer problem printer scroller problem so you can go and check out and then the lecture 2 that is the types of operating system you can check out this one also so there are a lot of other playlists also you can check out whatever playlist you want there are sql playlist and there are multiple other playlists you can go and check out i think uh, you will uh, i hope you will like it and there are some puzzle practice sessions also so you can go and check out the puzzle practice session so some of the companies also ask puzzles so it's better to prepare for it or you can check out the geeks for geeks so on geek for geeks you will find a lot of puzzles so you can prepare uh, them and uh, most of the puzzles if you see in the interviews will be from only those uh, puzzles that has that are available on geeks for geeks so yes if you are new here or new to the my channel then you are missing very important opportunity that is from the newton school so there is a very good program for the in the newton school that is the full stack development program so you can check out uh, complete description about the full stack development program link will be there in the description but i will just brief you out a little bit about it so that's a, a flexible duration program you can complete that in 3 uh, months 6 months or in a year whenever you want and beside this you will be getting a flexible emi options for this program and top industry mentors will be mentoring you throughout this course so for any doubts for any clarification you have a lot of folks to clarify all those doubts still if you think you have doubt then there will be a contact number given in the description you can contact them so what you are waiting for go and join the newton school full stack development program and my telegram channel let's meet in the next video till then bye bye